Since Brandon proposed, our fighting only got worse. He's always shouting, always slamming the door. This morning, we got a huge fight when he's watching TV with that volume up to 100. And please, lower it! Can you lower the volume? You're not alone here. You need to lower the volume, but you're turning it up. I said lower it, but you're turning it up. You know, the bad words like, you know, you, Mary, he's like that. And everybody can hear. <laughs> what is going on, people? We are back again with another Moving Mad video. <laughs> Brandon and Mary. Ooh, we Brandon and Mary. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. How do we start this video? How do where do we go from here? Okay, I'll start off simple. Right now, I've got a uh honey ginger lemon tea with a uh, tea bag that's got turmeric, I believe in it, and uh, some other herbals, you know what I mean? That's how I'm gonna start the video because I've got to cool down the situation right here because uh, it's it, this is so weird. This is so weird because we started off a season where we were where I was at least reviewing both couples to be lunatics. To be honest with you, because they were both very very insecure, especially with the phone calls. I've now fast and then and then I moved on forward to you know what Mary's the one that is unhinged. Brandon is maybe more level headed. And now I'm on the other side where I'm like, hold on a minute. Mary actually has common sense. She actually has a level of maturity. And Brandon is actually the one that is moving mad right now. Oh boy, this couple is a roller coaster. Roll up, roll up, roller coaster. And the question is this. Should a roller coaster be having a child? Can a, can a baby go on a roller coaster? No, a baby cannot go on a roller coaster because it is not safe for a baby to be on a roller coaster. But yet we got two people who are a roller coaster about to bring a baby into this freaking world. And just to confirm, rumor had it that they were going to have a second child. The rumors have been slammed down. They are not having a second child. I forgot whether it was Brandon or Mary that reported it. I was meant to make a video about it, but I forgot about it because I had other things to do. So I do apologize, but I'm telling you this right now. And that is the main thing. Okay. <laughs> that I'm at least telling you now. But um, okay, let's see where this roller coaster goes because right now this roller coaster isn't looking good. But last week Mary made it abundantly clear that Brandon has become lazy and he's not helping her whatsoever, even though that she's pregnant. And it seems to me now he's giving even more zero Fs because how can you have loud music in a home with other people? And also on top of that, you got a wife that is well, not a wife, but you got a woman or your fiance, shall I say, who's pregnant and probably needs all the rest possible. She may not be heavily pregnant right now, but of course, you know, I'm not a woman, but I do know when women are pregnant, they definitely make a big deal out of it. You know what I mean? Some people may say they're a bit, be a bit too dramatic about it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that. I'm just saying some people say they're a bit dramatic. I wouldn't know because I don't have kids. You know what I mean? But some people be saying that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some people be saying that women just make up pain that they have during pregnancy and periods. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> it ain't me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting your leg, ladies. Allow me, allow me, but let's continue. Let's get serious. We fight more about if I'm sleeping in or if I'm playing a game too much. And yeah, you know, maybe I could try harder around that. I'm trying to get her food. If she wants her back scrubbed, I help out. And we still end up like yelling and arguing. You see, I see what the problem is here. So here's the thing. This is something that I guess women don't know about men or don't want to understand about men or maybe ignore about men. Not all women, but some women, maybe a lot of women. So with men, generally speaking, when we do things, we do things because we are looking for a result. And that result begins with P. Now there's two P's, but I'm going to focus on one first. And that is, generally speaking, when a man does something, he then wants to have peace of, he wants to relax and just, just want to relax in peace. All right. So with Brandon, in his eyes, he's like, well, listen, I've helped her do this, this and that. So therefore now I'm going to sit back, relax and just have, even though he's got the music on very, very loud for his games, but for him, that is his peace. Okay, that's generally one of the things that women men look for, right? Women, on the other hand, sometimes I find that when they have one job to do, once they do that job, they know they they then end up looking for another job to do. You know, some women for some reason just fidgety; they just can't stay still. It's very annoying, but it is what it is. So, the situation that we've got here is that yes, Brandon could be doing more, and, and I say that because he admitted he could be doing more, but uh, it's not a, a fact of where he's become lazy. It's just a fact of where. He's doing certain things and now he's going to his natural habitat and that, that is just doing nothing. Because I guess that's where he's from. In America, he'd go to work, come back from work, and then what did he do? Play games. Games was his piece. He's trying to do the same thing here, but the only problem that he's got that he can't do it here because it's not the same type of lifestyle he's got now. Most important, he's now got a pregnant woman. And of course, because she's pregnant, this is, the this is where he has to kind of put his piece to the side a little bit. 
not completely, but just a little bit, and be more helpful to the fact that he's got a woman that is now carrying his child. And that is something that Brandon has to consider seriously. To understand. I understand this again, right? There are two P's that men generally look for in a relationship. Peace is number one. That in fact, not even in a relationship, just in life. First one is peace. I'll get to the next one somewhere down the line. I really hope that talking to Lolo will help us a lot and Brandon will change because this is life. It's not a game. Hmm. <laughs> um, it's, this, is, this is quite funny that I find with Mary. You know, like I said at the very beginning, we started off uh, a season where we thought both of them were just lunatics. Then it became that Brandon acted more sense than Mary. And then now we're in a position where Mary's got more sense than Brandon. And it is very, very strange and very, very confusing. But uh, that is the, one of the most mature. This is two weeks in a row now. This is back to back. Last week, she made a mature comment. This week, she's made another one. This is not a game. This is life. Like, wow. Where did this Mary come from? Why haven't you been around this whole time? You know? But I just wanted to point out that she said something very mature there. And to be honest with you, that's something that a lot of people need to remember. Life is not a game. It is. What she say again? Good what she said, man. Come on now. But sometimes life can be a game. At the right time. Come on now. To be honest with you, I thought that Brandon is very lucky that her grandpa is being very cordial. Because look at it this way, right? He was not meant to get Mary pregnant until after marriage. But he's already broken that rule. And that's a very big, big rule. And where they live as well, everybody's always gossiping about how Mary is already pregnant before marriage. You know what I mean? But also on top of that, she's with this American who's come into a home. And now all they're doing is shouting and arguing. And everyone in the neighborhood can cheer them. Honestly, like I said before, he's very lucky that this grandpa hasn't actually lost his shiz completely. Because rightly so, it, it could be. No, because at the end of the day, you are some random guy that he doesn't know come into his granddaughter's life and then boom, out of nowhere, wasting no time, you've got a pregnant without even getting married. It's bad enough that you kissed and hugged her without my permission, but I'll allow that because you didn't know that, but she never told you. Not that he knows that, but you know what I mean? We know that, right? But either way, though, you now know, but you knew from our first conversation that getting permission is a very key thing. You asked my permission for you guys to share a bed and I granted it. But I never said you can share a bed and then also make babies. You know what I mean? So to be honest with you, it is quite disappointing that Brandon isn't trying to do more to make sure that he stays on the better side, the grandpa, you know? Um, and I understand that Brandon's got emotions as well, got feelings as well. He's got his own mental health. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in life, you've got to put your own shit to the sides when you've caused an issue. You have caused this issue with Mary. So, hmm. Like I said, he's very lucky that the grandpa has been flipping cordial. Mm-hmm. He's been pregnant because of you and the way you show your attitude to this house. This conversation really makes me feel like I'm just not a good person. But I've been feeling a lot of anxiety and uh, stress. There was a good time to really fight off your anxiety and anything else you're going on, this would be it. And I think that's another good point, to be honest with you. You know, people shouldn't be in a position where they are deciding to have children if they know that they are suffering with depression. If they know that they also suffer with anxiety but don't get me wrong though some people when they have a child it does save them from their own depression you know and maybe even the anxiety but some people say that having a child saved my life so there is also that a part of it but that is a gamble uh gambling with that isn't the wise thing to do do you know what i mean now i'm not saying people purposely have a child you know when they're depressed or whatever do you know what i mean i'm just saying that obviously i know it can be a you know sometimes it, it can be a good thing but it's definitely not something that you should go into as a plan if you know what i mean now i'm not saying that that was the case with these two but what I'm trying to say is that uh, Brandon cannot use his anxiety as an excuse to why he's behaving the way he's behaving. Because like I said before, you've, you, you've, you've, you've come to, to the Philippines. Yeah, you've come to the Philippines. Okay. <laughs> I keep thinking Vietnam. But anyway, you've come to the Philippines. Oh, no, is it Thailand? Where are they again? Are they in the Philippines or Thailand? I forgot, you know. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section, please. Thank you. Thank you. But... Either way, though, you flew all the way from the States to where you are now, and uh, you have to show your respect. You know, you have to behave accordingly. You have to put your own self things to the side for the time being. Because, like I said before, you've got this young lady pregnant. So now you've got to step up. Point blank, period. Would you be mad at me if I assure you that I'm going to try and get better? Then be better. Okay, well, it's not going to happen in one minute. Okay, Brennan. It takes time. You're doing it continuously. Going out, and he's like, don't help me with things, and you're still shouting. You don't care. Did you not say that? Then go, go, go back. If Brandon won't change and be a better person, like really man enough to be a father, maybe he should leave. 
Do you know what the most annoying thing is about these two right now? Is that we all saw this coming. We all knew that these two wasn't ready to have a child. We saw that these two were in a bad place. But now we're having to witness these two in a situation where we didn't want them to be in because we saw it coming. Their relationship was extremely unhealthy before getting pregnant. And now it's got even worse while they were pregnant. And the weirdest thing about it is that it's gotten worse in terms of the fact that Brandon is going to work, but Mary's trying to do better. Their relationship just doesn't make sense. When Brandon is trying to do well, Mary gets worse. When Mary is trying to do well, Brandon gets worse. You see how they switch roles? It's very, very annoying, very jarring, very irritating to watch, you know, and to experience. But um, right now, the idea of Brandon leaving, obviously, we know he doesn't do that, but that shouldn't even be an option because it's a very simple situation. It's a situation where Brandon needs to pull up his socks and just be more helpful to Mary. It's just that simple and be more helpful to the family. And most importantly, he needs to stop shouting at her, at her too. I don't know if she's probably doing it too, so the shouting needs to stop as well for both of them, you know, because uh, right now, what they are doing is not making anything better, you know. But yeah, but like I said before, it's just irritating because we all saw this coming. We all saw this coming extremely, and uh, I just wanted to end now. The baby's on the way, come on. You guys let me know what you're thinking, peace.